Well, I, I thought the story, especially the first half, was improvement in the running game. I thought we ran the ball, had two long runs by Allen, did a better job of running with the backs and up front, and that was obviously an emphasis coming off of last week where he did not run the ball very well at all. And, um, you know, did not put up the, the numbers that we did last week in the passing game, but, but pleased with the running. Armand did not play. That helped us too, um, not having him over there on offense. But I, that, I was most pleased with that. We're still a little, we're still sloppy, and we've got a fourth quarter now to go to. You know, one week left of the spring ball, and time to really improve individually and as an offense and defense in general. Uh, Monterio Hardesty has obviously had a huge year for you last year at Tennessee. Is Alan Bradford a similar? type of guy to that in terms of his build and speed and so forth? No, Alan, Alan's a little bit heavier, you know, and, um, than he was. You know, Hardesty's probably a little bit shiftier than Alan was and, and um, you know, really showed an unbelievable durability. I think the last two games of the year, he had 70 carries in those two games um, combined. So um, Alan's got a ways to go before he can before he gets to that level. What do you see as far as potential goes for Allen? Yeah, I think Allen's got, got a ton of potential because rarely do you find a guy that's 235 and you know, runs high 4.4s four or 4.5s. Four so um, there's a lot of potential there. He needs to improve in the discipline of the run game, which he did today, as you saw evidence by him by him doing better than last Saturday. You'd make a big uh, push about the running game you know, after last week's city and think it was at a championship level. Yeah, definitely. You know, there was, you know, we're not at a championship level yet, but we definitely improved. I think, you know, I don't know what the quarterback sacks, what it was, but I think we had 185 yards rushing about today. So that, that was good to see. It seemed like in the first couple of scrimmages that Matt Barkley really kind of had his way, and that wasn't the case today. Why, why was that not the case? Well, the defense did a better job in the secondary, and also, you know, our game plan was today was more emphasized on the run game. You know, you know he not having Ronald. Is our you know, go-to receiver? You know, obviously hurts Matt. So we need to have guys continue to step up and, and you know, make plays. And Stanley, Stanley becomes more of an option once we once we lost Ronald. You know, so you saw us getting the ball to Stanley as much as we could before we pulled him. Four weeks in, do you feel like you know what the identity of the team is on offense? I mean, you mentioned the run game, the passing game seemed pretty good. Yeah, we're a long ways from knowing the identity of our offense or our team. You know, it's spring ball, and we're trying to get better. And we don't even, you know, we don't have our new guys here yet, which will obviously help develop our team. So we have a long ways to go before we know our identity. We know what we want it to be. You know, we want to be a very physical offense, and so we got a long ways to go to get there. Mitch Mustang, Mitch Mustang might have had his best scrimmage today yeah. so far. What did you see out of him out there? Yeah, I thought Mitch had a really good week. You know, all three practices this week. Really performed well. He's doing. He's getting, having a better grasp of the offense, and really getting the ball out quicker. So there's still a lot of things for Mitch to improve on. But we're very excited about his development. Looks like, uh, Jordan Cameron keeps catching the ball, finding open spaces, catching and running. Yeah, Jordan has had a very, very good last three practices. Has made a big plays every practice. Got banged up a little bit today, uh, and has improved his inline blocking which obviously is the number one concern for us with the receiving tight end. So uh, we're very pleased with what he's done and glad we moved him there. Did you talk about receivers stepping up with Ronald out. Did anybody else catch your eye one way or the other? Today? Not really. You know, I don't, didn't think we made you know dynamic plays out there. When we put David out there, he did. David Osborne had a big day today. Yes, he did Thursday in practice. So um, that, that's a great option for us to have a body like David, as big as he is and as physical as he is, to be able to move him around like he did today. What's the story with Prater's thumb? It was looked like it's in a cast. Yeah, he, his thumb sprained, and you know, really says a lot about the kid that we pushed him out here, and he came out here, you know, in a cast that he can't obviously catch with that hand at all, and so that, that was good to see. Is that somebody that normally is ruled out, you know, with a thumb like that, and we put the cast on him, made him come out and play. He just used his other hand. Yeah, he tried. <laughs> yeah, he actually made a couple good catches. Um, one that was out of bounds, and then tried to one hand catch the post. What is Armand's injury? Armand has a his foot uh, foot contusion.
Is that related? Do you know to what he had last year where he had the you had the medic had the break? And the I don't I don't know. Where was Dylan Baxter? Yeah, Dylan um, Dylan has a knee sprain, so he couldn't play, and then his grandmother is in the hospital down in San Diego, so he went down to, to see her and make sure she was okay. And he would not have been able to play with his knee anyway today. Did anybody jump out to you on defense today? Uh, I thought Galippa made a couple plays. You know, that, that's a great battle going on there. Both those guys are, are playing well. The middle linebacker. You know, I thought TJ McDonald had a couple big hits. Is it possible that both Galippo and Kennard will play at the same time? Yeah, it is. You know, we'll, we'll find our best guys and move them around. And, and you know, we'll, Chris, you know, this week coming up, we may experience it some out, experiment at some outside linebacker as well. It's last week of spring. Did Mark Tyler get hurt? Yeah, Mark did. Mark came out um, after a couple good physical runs uh, with a toe spring. Coach, you split up CJ game today. Uh, some is that more of a product, something you want to do with him and Dylan, or is it more of a product of not having any wide receivers? No, that's something that we'd like to do with those guys. Um, CJ's done it a little bit before. Uh, and Dylan obviously can do it extremely well, so it's good to see CJ on a double win today, score a touchdown, and continue to expand what we can do with him. With Tyler, is this just the lingering of the same toe foot issue he's been dealing with, or uh, I don't know that. You know, he was fine. You know. Until whatever second quarter, and then he came out after some runs. What did uh, what'd you see out of uh, Curtis McNeil today? It seemed like he had some good, tough runs, some stuff to the outside, too. He did some very tough physical short yardage runs. Uh, you know, made a great play on the one to keep it alive and make a first down. So I'm excited about Curtis, and what we need to continue to develop Curtis. And we'll talk to Curtis about losing a little bit of weight so that we can keep his speed up. What's the final decision on Roger? What is exactly going to happen? Who's that? Ronald. Uh, Ronald may saw a doctor this morning about his wrist and may have wrist surgery uh, early this week. Not for sure yet. Not for sure. No. What did you think of what happened with the SC guys in the draft? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't here, you know, to to really know. You know, it was unfortunate, especially when you talk about four guys that left school early and. Um, I believe two went in the fourth round, and another went in the, what, the second, and one was still undrafted when we came out here. So um, you, know, you feel bad for guys like that that have another year to play and leave and go on the second, or third day of the draft now. Um, Martin Coleman played some today at right tackle. I mean, is, what, are you, what are you seeing out of him? I mean, is he, is he a, still a project at this yeah, point? Yeah, Martin has lost 15 pounds and is playing better, had an ankle sprain, which has set him back. Really, his ankle still bothered him, really pushed through it today, which was good to see. Um, we had to have him out here you know, to, to get ourselves a seven lineman. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you.